Wicked Lovely is the story of a girl who finds out she has a destiny. Unfortunately, like most of us, when she finds out that someone has determined not only her future career, but her future love interest, she has a little issue. Um, at the same time, it's the story of the Summer King who was cursed, um, and that comes directly from folklore, that there is a, a character named Angus in fake folklore whose summer is um, bound until he finds his missing queen. So he is on this long mission to find, and it's been nine centuries looking for his missing summer queen, which will free him. And it's also the story of a woman named Danya who um, fell in love with the Summer King and they thought she might be the missing queen and is not, and is cursed to carry winter inside her as a consequence of loving him. Ink Exchange is the story of a girl named Leslie, a teenager. She's a rape survivor and she's looking for a way to not feel the pain inside of her. And so the consequence of that is she goes and she gets a tattoo, which is one of the typical reasons for getting a tattoo. Um, and so she goes and she gets a tattoo, which binds her to the King of the Dark Court, Ariel, who is looking for a way to protect his struggling court. And um, it's also the story of Neil, who has previously been with the Dark Court and is now the advisor to Keenan, the Summer King. So it continues the story that happens in Wicked Lovely from other characters' um, perspectives. And then we get to the third book, Fragile Eternity, which because of events that happen in Ink Exchange, we are in a situation where different characters' perspective has to come back to the forefront. So Ash's perspective comes back, um, and we have Keenan's perspective and Donnie's perspective, and uh, we end up having not just their story, but we have the story of the High Court, which is Sorsha, who is the unchanging queen, and of course Seth, who is um, Ash's mortal love from the first book, and the decisions he has to make as a result of events that started in Wicked Lovely and Ink Exchange. So the perspective went back to some of the original characters and some new ones. The fourth book, Radiant Shadows, is the story of Ani, who is the daughter of the Wild Hunt, which we met in the second book, and Devlin, who is the assassin for the High Court, who we met in the third book, and Ray, um, who is uh, a character unlike any others, and I don't really talk about her, it's too much of a spoiler. Um, and then the fifth book, Darkest Mercy, um, is pulls together the events that have happened in all four of them. So it's a conclusion to the whole series. So while some of the books have different perspectives, this isn't just the story of a girl. This is a series about the fairy courts. And so as the perspectives change, by the time we get to the fifth book, all of those events and all of those other books lead to uh, Darkest Mercy. And um, the perspectives in it are a bit of a surprise. You will see um, old and new characters telling the story. The narrative is unlike anything I've done in any of the other books.